Woo! I got undressed before I even got in the truck. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling so bad. And the thing lost can be found again except for time wasted. A vision without action is merely a dream. It's the action, it's the grind, it's the hustle, it's the pursuit. What's good, you guys? I'm Lexi J. This is Brenda Spill. And today we are back with part two of our Dubai vlog. Don't mind my hair because it's really, really, really crusty right now. And I'll fix it later tonight. But for today, we are about to go get some breakfast at Expectations again because it was so delicious. It was the perfect brunch spot, breakfast brunch spot. So, yeah, we're about to go get some breakfast. It is 11, 12 a.m. September 13th. It is one day before my birthday, you guys. One day, one more day. Um, as you can see, this is my birthday dress right there in the back right there in the back but there has been a change of plans i'll get into that later um so yeah back to today we're about to go get breakfast then we are gonna go to the mall so that i can find some birthday balloons to do a birthday last minute photo shoot with and then we also need to find a nail salon because i told y'all i was gonna keep my nails raggedy but they too raggedy they way too raggedy so yeah after that we are going to be going to the desert today we're going to the desert we're hitting the desert we're hitting the dunes we're gonna get on um the atvs we're gonna get on something but we also gonna get on the camel's back we're just gonna have a little desert field day today okay so we're also gonna scope out the desert so that we can go back tomorrow maybe and take some engagement photos in the desert so got a full day ahead of us so enough of all the talking let's get going paradise i think and it's made with just uh fruit and then i also got s'mores french toast and it looks amazing so we're gonna see how this tastes today and then we're gonna head on to our next destination Okay, you guys, there are a million malls here in Dubai. I thought it was sending us to a regular store, but it is a store in the mall and it is called Party Zone. And I'm about to get some um, little trinkets or whatever to take some birthday pictures like the balloon numbers and things like that. So let's see what we can find today. to go hit the sand dunes, hit the desert, 
get some riding in, ride some camels, ride some ATVs, whatever they are, we're gonna ride them. So I changed my outfit, like I said, and I am looking. Okay, my name is Miss Fit. So make sure you guys go shop because this outfit is available in sky blue, black, and of course the lovely pink, which I'm wearing right now. I was really nervous about wearing it just because they don't too much like provocative wear out here. But since we're going to the desert, I hope that they just will understand me. So yeah, it's a short set. Keep riding on my butt. They're gonna have to make it work because um the other outfit that I brought was um, biker shorts from 90s misfit with a matching crop top it was a matching long sleeve crop top and it is black and he's told me i was gonna be bringing up even though it's a crop top and a, sh a biker short set so i decided to do my second option and rock this so make sure you guys go shop at 90smisfit.com so you can get this outfit um i don't want to be all up in the camera because like I said earlier, my hair is trashed. It's trashed right now. I'm gonna try to fix it tonight because we're still here five more days and I can't have none of that. I can't be living like this. So yeah, as far as the desert goes, I bought this mask so the sand won't be all up in here. All up in here, okay? I bought this mask. So yeah, we're about to head out so let's get a move on go to the desert now use misfit.com you know the vibes
Okay, you guys, we made our first pit stop, and I'm struggling. I'm struggling so bad. It's so hot. The helmet is pressing down. Y'all know I have a half up, half down. The helmet is pressing on my ponytail, giving me a headache. It's just, I cannot breathe. It's too much. Um, what I recommend, uh, yeah, if you're in better shape than me, for sure. It's a pretty cool experience though. It's, it's fun. This is just so hot, which of course is expected. And if the helmet wasn't pressing into my brain, I'd be a-okay. But right now, I'm about ready to head back. So, that sucks. Hopefully I got some footage riding for you guys before my other phone got overheated because I'm trying to keep it in the um, little waterproof bag. I didn't want to get a GoPro just for this trip so i didn't so that was the next best thing to do and it overheats when it's in the sun in the little plastic bag so hopefully i got some footage riding for you guys so see you at the next destination and beat the hell up i couldn't take it couldn't do it like the few seconds that i just got finished talking to you guys i can't even got any truck because it's too hot look i got undressed i got undressed before i even got in the truck my hair is beat up more than it was before i'm ready to go i can't do this no more oh my gosh y'all like i was laying down in the back seat i couldn't take it no more my fiance has to get people to take pictures for him right now. I feel so bad. I took a few for him, but I am not uh, the type of person that can be in the heat for long. I don't know why I thought I could do this. Whew, I can't do this. Like, I literally pass out when I overheat, and I am overheating right now. Like, I barely made it to this truck. And they like, oh, come out when you feel better in, in a sandboard. No ma'am. No ma'am, no ma'am, no turkey. No ham. We're not getting any ham in this desert. Like I'm out here naked. Y'all saw 90s Misfit attire. I couldn't handle it. And there's people out here in pants. And I'm going to show y'all. My fiance is in blue jeans. With a long sleeve. And I can't handle this. I can't. So. Um, I don't know what's next for me. But. I'm going to sit right here in this AC. Okay. Okay. There everyone, there's everyone. I'm trying to zoom in so that you guys can see people are wearing pants. Like that lady over there has on black tights. I cannot in my Jocelyn voice, I cannot. So yeah, I'm hiding in the AC. I can't do this. I look terrible right now. Like messing with the helmet, messed up all my hair. It's so hot. But you guys, I really want to say if you are coming here or to any desert in Dubai, make sure you drink lots of water. Unfortunately for me, I haven't had any water today before. I almost passed out in the truck. So when I got in the truck, I drank two bottles of water and I got back out there. I didn't record the second time. Um, I should have. Like I said, I didn't do I didn't do the sandboarding. Yeah. So right now, all I can say to you guys is if you're gonna put this, please, please drink some water. I almost passed out, but I got back up and did it. Okay, you guys, now we are ready in the desert. We are going to get pictures in the sunset. So, let's go be right. Maybe she can focus better so you guys can see the sunset. There we go.
course with every activity we do. But it is what it is. Y'all got to see me at my worst, honestly. And this is, um, this is about my worst. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't getting no worse than this, I hope. Not today. Um, the kind of ride is so fun. It's really chill. He said they're uncomfortable, but it's really chill. Once I stop feeling bad. I will show you what we have coming. That's what uh, we call uh, Lukaimat. Lukaimat, it's traditional sweet in the Emirates. So, have a kiss, ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. Okay. So, you're going to your table. Okay. Who wanna who wanna smoke shisha? Shisha free, okay. So if you want smoke, and henna tattoo free. Not right now. Shisha? Not right now. That's okay. Okay, guys, it's almost dinner time, and you know we keep these things on us, so we gotta clean our hands thoroughly. That's why I didn't eat that whole thing that he had offered us because I did not want germs from my hands in my mouth so i'm about to clean my hands um there is free hookah free henna but right now um my head is a little light a little lightheaded so i'm gonna see maybe after i eat i'll want shisha but i probably won't join in the shisha tonight i'm not sure just because i do have a slight headache but yeah, see where the rest of this evening takes us. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Masri. delicious barbecue dinner. Your captains will lead you to the buffet counter.
officially 23 in Dubai and back home I'm still 22 but in Dubai I'm 23 yeah it's bright outside sun is out day has started it's 8 in, in the morning um so yesterday was pretty rough it was pretty rough i really did not think that i was gonna make it i didn't even like close out and give you guys um the whole rundown of it because i was so tired and so drained yesterday when we got in we got in about i think around 10 10 10 or 11 last night so yeah i wanted to give you guys the full rundown but i was so drained i could not do it but uh back to now um of course i'm on here looking more busted than i was yesterday that's because i'm trying to get myself together you gotta hit bottom before you go back up maybe i don't know that's that's what i'm doing today so uh yeah i gotta fix all of the front of my hair i have to fix my ponytail it's not in curlers because i have to curl that next after these dry the give me some nice good curls in my you know the back um so yeah i'm trying to fix myself up i have a nail appointment today so yeah i'm gonna um find somewhere to have breakfast and then i'll update you guys then hopefully i can get my hair together before then because my nail appointment is at 12 and it's eight o'clock and i'm really just trying to take my hair slow so that i don't completely mess it up because i'm not a hair person but uh yeah hopefully next time you guys see me when i update about breakfast my hair will be done let's just let's just hope for the best because i really don't have the proper tools out here for my hair so yeah i'll be back Okay, you guys here's the setup in the restaurant so it wasn't my first choice for my for my birthday by breakfast but I didn't want to risk it because the place that I had picked out it was a really really popular one and they did have the option to where you would have to reserve so I didn't want to take a chance and head to that one so we came to this one and it's called parlor boutique it's super cute in here we're sitting on the little sofas or you can have the option to sit at a table a regular table um i got orange juice to start off and i ended up not getting breakfast just because i here's the breakfast menu and i didn't see anything that i liked on here so i went ahead and ordered lunch but they already took the lunch menus back because we ordered already but when my food comes out i'll be sure to show it to you guys um yeah so this is how we're starting off today uh super late to my nail appointment i told them i'd be at my nail appointment around 12 but it's after 12 already and i just sat down to eat so hopefully they don't be like no -uh, girl that's not what you told us but yeah we're about to get some food and then we'll be on our way to the next destination so here's plate one and here's plate two chicken I'm not sure exactly which one I got but I also got sauteed veggies as well so yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what we got before we head to the nail salon red velvet cake and chocolate mango custard now i'll see you guys at the nail salon
Okay, you guys, made it to the nail salon. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're here at our second destination of the day. Or we're here at third destination of the day. This is the third destination of the day. And we are about to take a helicopter ride. So yeah, I'm about to take you guys on a helicopter ride with me, get some footage, try to get it the best I can so you guys can feel like you're there. And we're gonna see what this is all about because first time of many. So yeah, let's go. After the completion of this video, talents, selfie sticks, professional cameras, camera lenses greater than 400 millimeter, also not permitted on the flight. Flash photography is not permitted at any time. Okay, you guys, the helicopter ride, mm, it was fun. We only booked it for 12 minutes because it was 100 and something for 12 minutes. So just a hundred and something dollars, that is still a lot. So <laughs> we only booked it for 12 minutes and it's not that bad. It's just, for me personally, I'm gonna have to say it's not what I expected. I expected it to be like, you know the pilot seat and then two seats or you know just us two riding but no they don't tell you that when you come here it's gonna be a lot of people and it's gonna be six people on the plane on the helicopter so it can be crowded like it was very uncomfortable because we were kind of squished together and it was hard to get footage um so it was really hard to get footage it's not what I expected. Would I do it again? For sure. Not from here though. I would not book it from here again. I want to go on a helicopter tour that is just the two of us. Just for that reason alone. That was, no. That was not pleasant, you guys. So, yeah. Hope you guys like the footage that I got for it. Um, I did the best I could. Like I said, it was kind of crowded. I didn't have room to just maneuver back and forth but it's time to continue these birthday festivities we are about to go back to the place get all fancied up and head out let's see what we can do for the night so i guess i'll see you guys in a little bit
Okay, you guys, so it's our first time stopping for gas and they have attendants that pump the gas for you. There are long lines waiting for gas pumps. So it's not just like an in and out type thing. There are attendants who come to you and pump your gas and you have to wait in line unless you choose to just leave and go find another one. But most likely you'll be waiting in a line to get gas pumped at that one as well. It's a, it's a process here. So don't expect in and out gas if you renting if you rent a car. All right, you guys, we're back and a little a good thing happened while we were out riding. Um, we decided to go check on booking the dinner in the sky because we weren't going to book it for until tomorrow because it said it was booked up today. But when we got there, she's like, oh yeah, come back, you know. And so, original plans, didn't dinner in the sky for my birthday. So that's what we we're about to do. So we're about to get ready right now and head to dinner in the sky. Okay, we're about to go up. We're at dinner in the sky. Okay. Okay, I've had this and this, but none of this. So, see how this goes. You will be part of this once in a lifetime experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Fasten your seatbelts and get ready to enjoy the most breathtaking views of Dubai. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Are you ready? guys i'm back it's the day after my birthday and last night was a little um, let's just say i didn't feel up to par as we finish it off i was a little so here i am back feeling refreshed and it is 4 p.m you guys and when i say that i was feeling like we just woke up at 2 p.m and it's 4 p.m and we're gonna get our day started which is literally about to end. So we kind of wasted our Dubai day, but it's okay, it's okay, because we're gonna go to the mall, eat some food, get some chicken. We already looked through the mall's app. Make sure you guys download the mall's app if you plan on visiting Dubai and going to the mall. So we already looked through all the restaurants in the Dubai mall app, and we decided on uh texas chicken restaurant so we're gonna see what they talking about because it looks like church's chicken but they're not claiming church's chicken it just says texas chicken and i'm from texas he from texas we've never seen texas chicken in texas so we're gonna go try this restaurant and see what they're talking about over there and then after that we're going to go ahead to the desert so that we can get some engagement photos and after that, we are going to 
either eat first or either we're gonna watch the waterfall show and then eat dinner not quite sure but after all of that we will try to squeeze in bowling we will most likely squeeze in bowling so yeah the rest of the day is pretty pretty busy I'm gonna have a good positive productive day tomorrow will be even more positive and productive because we do have something actually planned to do so and by saying that I, I meant yesterday's activities all got pushed back to yesterday so today's activities got pushed back to yesterday so today we were supposed to go do dinner dinner in the sky and and the helicopter ride was supposed to be for today but we got to do it yesterday as well so today was kind of just freelance so that's what we're gonna do today that's why it's not that bad that we you know are getting a really really late start because it wasn't just filled with activities to begin with since they were pushed to yesterday so that's what we're gonna do and before I go, I wanted to show you guys my traditional wear. I don't know how to put the head head piece on, but I have on my little belt and my, you know, traditional little dress. So hopefully I don't offend nobody by saying dress. I don't know what, what it's called, but on me it's a dress. Um, but let me show you guys. And I have the sandals to match. I didn't buy the sandals here, um, but luckily I packed some sandals that were white and gold. So they pretty much match to the T, you guys. And I would show you guys a closer look, but my feet ain't there. They just not there. So we're just gonna move along from that. Um, so yeah, we're about to go ahead and head out and see what the rest of the state has for us. So. Okay, hey, y'all, don't laugh at my feet, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw the full outfit, minus the headpiece. So, it's super cute, and it was very affordable, so make sure you guys go check out my traditional wear in Dubai vlog, or something like that. I haven't really, I haven't edited it yet, so I'm not sure what the name will be, but make sure you guys check it out so you can see the process of getting this dress. Okay, you guys, just to give a quick update, like literally this is not even 10 minutes from me talking a few seconds ago. Um, we decided that it's best to take the engagement photos in the desert tomorrow because the sun starts to set, like it's dark around 6 to 6.30. It's dark. So like I said, it's four o'clock now. Right now it's 4.19. The drive that we have to make to the desert is over an hour and so if we wanted to make these photos and really make this count we would have to like be on our way there right now but as you can see i have no makeup on we i we would have to get dressed all kinds of things and we haven't even eaten today so we're gonna push that to tomorrow because we only have one thing planned for tomorrow so far so we're gonna push that to tomorrow and see where the rest of the day takes us today so yeah i wanted to update on that also he let it be known that i said the waterfall of dubai i meant the water fountain show the water fountain show is what i meant and last thing i want to touch on real real fast yeah i know that my lips be looking crusty and chat but let me tell y'all it's i don't be one to waste lip gloss so you have to wear a mask like everywhere you go so i don't be wanting to waste lip gloss so that's why i don't be putting on lip gloss and why I just be letting my lips be how they be and the sun got all up in the way so i'm gonna go ahead and end it right there and we're here at the mall and we're about to go in so i'll see you guys in a second
guys, here we are, Texas chicken. We've never seen this in Texas, but we're gonna see what they're talking about here. Okay, you guys, after careful observation, this is definitely like meant to be churches. You can see the little star, and then they put a lot of emphasis on their honey butter biscuits. And I love me some church's biscuits, so let me see if it tastes the same. I got three piece legs. It looks like church's chicken, but this is the giveaway right here. Not this. This. You guys, this is churches. It just doesn't say churches, it says Texas. So that's really funny. Um, but yeah, I got rice, three piece legs, and biscuits. I'm gonna see if it tastes like churches. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update before I um, really start to eat. It's definitely churches. This biscuit tastes amazing. It tastes like churches, but honestly, churches back home is a little, the biscuits are a little bit drier, but I do love me some churches biscuits. This chicken, yes, it tastes like churches chicken. Um, this rice, I've never seen this rice on church's menu, so I'm guessing this is just something that they added their own flair to. And I did not taste, I'm not tasting that. I don't, I don't even know coleslaw. And then the fries, um, they look exactly like church's fries. I don't want to taste the fries because they just come with the meal, but they look exactly like church's fries. And one thing I do want to tell you guys, these restaurants, well, it's not even just a restaurant. A lot of places here, fast food, whether it's fast food or like fancy dining type, they really just have soda. So like when my, when I'm home, back home, when I go to eat fast food or restaurants, I always get fruit punch or lemonade. They don't have that. They have fresh juice in like all their establishments where they like, like literally juice the fruit right there and put it in the glass to give it to you but i'm tired of that fresh juice i want some of that sweetened sweetened fake juice the sweetened fake juice because the fresh juice would be real sour and you know they they leave the fruit pieces in there as well so you got to drink crushed fruit pieces like watermelon juice it was not pleasant for me but um yeah i just wanted to give you guys that little heads up that the restaurants really serve mainly soda so soda or fresh juice so yeah that was all. I just wanted you guys to know this is churches. Even though it says Texas chicken, it's actually churches. So this was good to try. Okay, so I had to stop recording because they were playing music in the mall really loud. They were playing music in the mall really loud, so I stopped recording. But what I was saying was the little summary of tomorrow. So like I was saying, we'll come to the Palm the first thing in the morning, then we'll go to Ski Dubai. And then directly after that, we will go take engagement pictures in the desert. So for today, it's already 7.12. Yeah, it's already 7.12. The day is over, it's dark outside. So um, I'm not sure if we're gonna eat just because we just ate at the mall uh, not even two hours ago. Or yeah, two hours ago, we just ate at the mall. And I still have my chick, my church's chicken right here on the floor. We haven't went back to the place yet. So, um, but we're gonna try to go bowling. And that's probably about it for today because there's not much else that we have planned to do. Oh, besides the fountain. So we're probably gonna go see right now about the water fountain show. Yeah, the water fountain show. So I don't know, just stay tuned. Keep with me, you guys. Let's see what's next. <laughs> 